Hey everyone, Dawn version 15 just came out and I wanted to share some of the changes with you. There's two changes that I think are more interesting and the rest of them I'm not really going to cover because I don't think they're too important for the majority of you. But stick around to the end because there was a big change that was just quietly rolled out that I didn't see announced anywhere, but is actually the update that I'm most excited about. If you want to see the whole list of changes, you can check out the release notes for the Dawn theme. So you can just come down here, see update details, and this is the whole list. Uh, there's been some performance improvements that were made, fixes for regions and languages, fixes with the quick add function, uh, and some other minor fixes and changes. But the two changes that interested me the most are the first two right here. So the first one, support for products with over 2000 variants. So if you need more than the 100 variant limit that is currently in place, then this is a huge update. So for example, if you have an apparel store, then it's gonna be really helpful because you might have multiple colors and sizes and designs and garment types. So combining all of those together is going to add up really quick. Unfortunately, while the theme does support the 2000 variant limit, um, the admin side on the product admin, it's not yet released. So if we actually go to our products and we try to add a whole bunch of different variants, so let's just call this test and let's just create a whole bunch of variants. Um, already right here, we say this product can't have more than 100 variants to save, remove some options. So um, we're still stuck with the 100 variant limit and we don't really know when it's going to roll out. It's probably going to be a few months. This isn't so different from when there was another uh, theme update from version 13 that we talked about uh, that didn't get released right away, um, but we might be seeing something about that a little bit later. So stick around for the rest uh, at the end of this video. So until this does get released, you can use a workaround by combining multiple products together. We did a video on this, check it out. Now about that combined products uh, video, we can see here that Don now supports combined listings of products. Um, so this is a feature that was announced previously. Um, in order to use it, you have to use this Shopify combined listings app. Um, and you also need to be on Shopify plus as well. So uh, for us, regular Shopify users might not be available. Uh, but even if you were on Shopify plus, it doesn't seem like the app has even been released yet. So if you check the app store, I can't find it. So it looks like you have to wait for this feature uh, to be released as well. Now, even though we have previously used the uh, combined product listings workaround to get above the 100 variant limit, um, and now that there's this 2000 variant limit upgrade, um, there's still a place to use the combined listings and it's mostly for how you want to organize your store. So for example, if you have um, if you have an apparel store and you have a design that's on different garment types, like let's say it's on a t-shirt, uh, a sweatshirt, and then uh, a hoodie, then you may want on your product listings to show that you've got these different garment types, but on your collections, you may want to organize them by t-shirts and by, by, uh, by hoodies and, and separating them out into different products, but being able to combine them together on the product listing itself, uh, that's where that comes in really handy. Um, so um, it's not only because you want to get around the 2000 variant limit, there is a, there's another reason for um, uh, organization reasons why you might want that. Now, like I mentioned, this is for Shopify Plus users. We have our own customization uh, that you can follow. Check it out if you're interested. Um, but yeah, I think these are the two changes that uh, were most interesting to me. Now, there was another change, actually. It's not related to the themes, but I did notice it when I was checking out uh, Dawn version 15, and that's that we now have this category uh, meta field section in our product admin. And this is what we've been waiting for. So. What is this for? We actually need this category section in order to use the Shopify native swatches. Now I've done a, a number of videos on swatches. In fact, I uh, just released one a couple days ago um, on collection swatches. 
And so now we actually have the native feature rolled out. And um, my first thought was, hey, we don't need these customizations anymore. So these videos that I've been making maybe aren't that useful anymore. So let's take a look at that. Let's, let's actually add some of these swatches into our store and see what it's like. And so I'm in one of my products here um, and you can select a category, right? So uh, right now it says I'm categorized, but uh, there's some suggestions here. So you can say it's in clothing, um, clothing tops, right? And so it's going to automatically suggest these different uh, these different uh, categories, meta fields that you can use. And so I've actually already added in a few here, right? If you want to add another one, you can say add, let's say uh, clothing features. And once you add that in, it'll just create this meta fields um, section here. And these meta field options are based on the product category that you're in. So if we chose a, uh, a different category, let's say, um, Let's, uh, let's, let's go back and uh, let's look at, um, let's look at shoes, shoe accessories, let's say. Um, and we're just gonna do uh, shoe inserts. When we come down here, we're gonna see that you've got these different categories that you can add to your product. Um, so uh, the color, the color is one option in here, right? And so that's already been added. Uh, but you could choose shoe size or age group. Um, and so these different meta fields can be used for the swatches, but they can also be used for other reasons uh, in our store. And, and as we start to play around with these category meta fields, we'll find more and more uses for them. But for now, we're going to uh, just stick to looking at how we can use it for our swatches. And so we're gonna come back to clothing tops and we're going to see that we've got this color meta field available. And what we can do is we can go into our variant options and we've got, we can connect meta field and we can connect color. And you're gonna see here, it's automatically going to find the matching variant name and assign the variant color to it. And so now you've got these colors here. So you can say done, um, but you can also customize these. And so if we go into uh, content, you can see here that we've got these different uh, meta object uh, categories and they have a, a description name. Um, and so these are the ones that were just automatically created um, from our category meta fields. And so let's go into color and you can customize these if you like. So you can see here, I've actually added an image into the black, uh, the black color, right? By default, it's gonna be this hex code um, you can change the hex code if you like. So the black doesn't need to be this exact black. Your blue doesn't need to be the blue that's shown there. And you can also even add uh, an image. And so let's let's maybe add this blue image here. Um, we can uh, select from our files. And so we can use our blue rose uh, image that we've been using a lot. So let's just save that. So let's go back to our product. And we can look at the variants here and you can see that we can actually add a different color uh, for our variants. And we even have some patterns that we could use where we would add an image to go along with it. Um, but if you can't find the one that you're looking for, you can actually create your own. So we can add a new entry. And we can call this, let's say hot red and Maybe let's make this a little bit more orangey. Okay, and you also have this option to choose the base color and base pattern. Uh, it's just for better search and organization. So we can save that. And now we have that as an option for our, uh, for our product as a variant. Um, and so you can hit done and save. And there we go, we've added our own custom color swatch in our product. But since we don't really need that right now and we don't have an image for it, let's just remove that um, and save it again. And if we refresh this page here, you're gonna see that we have 
our new meta field created, um, but we're not going to use this, so we can just delete this for now. But now let's head over to our theme. Um, this will work for Dawn version 13, 14, and 15 uh, because the support for the swatches was rolled out in Dawn version 13. So uh, we can, let's just use version 15. We've, uh, we've just installed that and taken a look at it. So let's go and customize. Okay, and let's go to our default products. And you can see here, um, if we go to our variant picker, we have the option to pick swatches. So it could be a circle, it could be a square, um, or it could just be none, right? And so it'll just default back to the pills. Uh, but let's say use the circle here and um, that's already live. So we can just, uh, we can view our store and take a look at um, this product here. And it's not showing, it's not showing the swatches here. Why is that? Let's come to our product. Oh, I didn't save it yet. Well, <laughs> that's why. So let's save and let's refresh. Okay, so once you've refreshed, you can see here that uh, we've got our swatches in here. Um, in the case where we added the image, you're gonna see the image in your swatch. In the case where it's the swatch uh, hex code, it'll just be the hex code there. Um, but yeah, that's our native swatches from Shopify. Um, like I mentioned, you can also change the, uh, change the color. So if you don't like this default green, then we can go to our content again, uh, meta objects, go into our color, meta object and modify this green into a different hex code. So let's let's choose uh, maybe like a darker one here. And then we can save and refresh our page. And you can see here it's a darker green that better matches our shirt. Now there is a bit of a limitation here. So let's come back to our meta objects area. These four meta objects are the ones that I've added so far. We can add many more category uh, meta fields into our products, but these four here are the ones that we've created. Um, and so let's say if we go back to our product, um, let's create a new tab, and we're gonna come back to our product here. And let's say we want to add a, a fabric option here, right? And so we can add cotton, Oops, cotton, and we wanna add polyester, let's say. Okay, so we save that. Um, and we also wanna make these a swatch. So we can come to our fabric uh, meta object, take a look inside and go into cotton. We can see which products are using this meta object, but there's no option to actually add an image. And so if we actually go into the swatches area, you're gonna see here that the swatches can only be used with products that have variants connected to category meta fields entries for color, which means that only color can be used as a swatch. If you have any other variant type, fabric, uh, shapes, or, or whatever it is for your products, unfortunately, those swatches aren't available. So. Yeah, it's actually a pretty big limitation in my opinion. Um, I thought we'd be able to use the the uh, the swatches for any variant type, um, and I thought we wouldn't have to keep doing these customizations uh, like the ones I've been sharing on this channel. Uh, but it seems like if you want to have swatches for something other than color, then we might still need to do these customizations in order to make that happen. So unfortunately, the Shopify native swatches don't have as many features as I hoped. And in the future, I'll probably put out a new video that looks at how we can use these new category meta fields for our swatches. So I hope you liked this little update. If you did, it would mean a lot to me if you subscribed. Uh, and actually, in a few days on June 24th, the Shopify Summer 24 edition will be released. Uh, this is where they're going to be announcing all of their big updates and changes 
Uh, so I'll go through it and pull out what I think are the most interesting changes. So if you subscribe, you'll be the first to see that video when it comes out. All right, so those are all the updates for today and I hope that helps. Also, if you're looking to hire us for any personalized help for your Shopify store or themes, just book a call with us at theprompta.co. All right, that's it for today. See you in the next one.